السلام علیکم جی میں نے یوز محمد بن زبیر فیصل اینڈ یو ور گیون دا ٹاسک ٹو ایکسپلین دس لائٹ فرام نمبر ٹوینٹی سیون ٹو تھرٹی سو بیسکلی واٹ وی نیڈ ٹو ایکسپلین از واٹ از ہیپنگ ان سائڈ دا سی پی یو ہاؤ ٹو کمپیوٹر ورک سو ان سائڈ دا سی پی یو ایز یو کین سی ان دا براف سائڈ وی ہیو پروگرام کاؤنٹر وی آر آل دا in the program counter where uh, the numbers uh, of uh, where the numbers keep changing according to uh, the data that we are storing so if i'll explain that a little bit later in, there's also instruction decoder that asks or allows us or allows you to move towards the next one or gives you instructions is basically what i'm trying to say then there's the alu arithmetic arithmetic logic unit um then there's then there are registers in which uh, the data will be stored so how do computers work so this is the basic basic explanation of how they will work so basically inside the cpu you have uh, uh, an automatic logic unit an instruction decoder registers and it's uh, designed for address bus data bus and control bus Uh, here you have the logics circuit and in this in this table if you can see uh, it, there are uh, locations or addresses given from in 0 to 7 and on the other side of them on the right side there are numbers given as 31 h c4 h etc so basically the instructions we are given are is that we need to first up we need to move the a uh, 17th location and store it into the register a the 17th location the data which it possesses we need to move it to register a so what will basically happen here is that this address bus is here below so basically it will move uh, it will go on to this the instruction decoder will move to 31 hence you can see that there is uh, this right on the right side of zero there was 31h so basically the <coughs> program counter will be move will move from 0 to 1 because it's the first one and then you have in the instructions decoder 31 because it was given on the right side of 31h of 0 it was 31h next what will happen is that the at the data from which the address bus would be taken now since it is 17 so here it will move to the 17th bus then the data that was required would move to the data from the data bus so basically there's nine here so what will happen is that this nine will move upward and on left and then we would get it stored into this a part of the register so basically it will uh, move here right here at where a is on your screen you would be able to see it so that is what would happen basically that's the basics of what would happen so the instructions are given like this that from the 17th location we have to store the data in register a then we have to then the data that was stored in register a we have to store it in b register b as well then from the 6th memory location uh, we have to store the data in a and then a plus b into a and a into 7 so that's basically what will happen here so we've already done the first one so what will happen next is that from a the register this process will repeat and now the pc would move to now that the pc would uh, now that the program counter would move to 2 because since we've already done the first one now it will move on to the next one so on the next one it will do the same thing uh for the instruction decoder now 31 will be replaced by 4h and the same thing ha- will happen the address bus will move and then the uh data bus would uh, you can say h or sees the ins- uh, data that will be given put to it so it will be 9 so this 9 would now also be stored in b next would we have 6 into a so yeah so uh the 6 into a so now in 6 we have 
5 h so the picture uh, program counter will move towards the next 5 and then here you can see uh, on this slide if it's very visible to you so what will happen is that uh, program counter will move to 5 since we're going since we move to the sixth one now instructions decoder uh, will change as well and what would happen is that this 6 uh, that we're going to uh, so basically what happens is when you're on the first one or on the, you're taking the address from the first program counter so the program counter uh, changes from 0 so when it was when we were doing it for a it was zero at program counter and then we, when we were doing it for uh, the second one for the b register in the second step then it was for then the program counter was at one so basically when it will be the sixth one then it would be five at the program counter the instructions decoder will take the instructions of uh, which is which are relative to the number five in the table given uh, so what will happen here is that this six would move uh, and on the side of it was five a. So this five uh, would be into in given to instruction decoder. I think it's yeah it's so uh, this will move here in the instruction decoder. Then the data line would follow it and then the data would be stored into it. So basically what happened is you can see here is that the data that was stored in A in register A was replaced by E. So basically this is the function what happens uh, in a computer. So for example if you wanted to do the other two the last two. So they were given A, A the stored in register A, A plus B. So basically it would do, do that as well and then finally for the seventh location it would pick uh, what is uh, opposite to it and then store it in A. So basically the same function will keep on repeating till our instructions are completed. So basically in the uh, CPU th this is what happens inside CPU. This, uh, this is what happens inside a computer. This is how computers work. We have an address line, we have a data bus basically they play a really important role in our uh, uh, explanation of these then you have the automatic logic unit then you have the instruction decoder and then you also have the registers the registers just to give you a short explanation of what they are registers are where we stored our data from the data bus the ones that were coming from the data bus they were etched into the register because of course registers are storage location uh, the program counter was basically is ba basically what it does is gives uh, the CPU or uh, let's say it gives you the instruction to uh, so that you can understand at what point or at what number we are moving or are currently at and what uh, instruction decoder is what the, the what is the instruction is right now at the program counter so that's what it does then the automatic logical uh, <coughs> these are the address locations, address bus, uh, uh, and then there's a data bus. So basically, what happens is that uh, the address location that we were asking for, so it just goes uh, and uh, right in uh, right below, and then the data comes up and then it gets stored in the register. So this is the basic function that happens. It's quite easy. So. I hope you guys will understand this. So yeah, basically uh, the task was to explain slides 27 to 30. So I hope you will understand this. Uh, thank you. Uh, a lot, guys.